I don't believe this. They've temporarily revoked the case. How the hell should I know? I had enough evidence to nail him. Jason. Jason Rude's lying skull. He killed Sinclair in cold blood. That's a fact, sunshine. I even have the evidence that proves it. I've got two witnesses. I don't give a crap about Reed. Ronnie Mason and Tom Brown have already agreed to give statements. And stand in the box. We better take this outside. Let's not get any blood on the cushions. Yeah. Bill, Bill, Bill. Listen, listen. I need them. By tomorrow. Okay, you better get them filled out for me, those reports. Someone brand new was Sinclair's best friend. I can't see him stepping away from this. As much of a victim as Sinclair was. Mate, Brown already lost his leg. He's gonna need mobility support for the rest of his life. He's on a stick at the moment. You need to do everything in your power to get us up and running again. We're deep in this one. I'm not letting this guy walk. Alright, I want to see the reports filed and checked tomorrow at noon at the latest. Alright. My dog. <laughs> My name is Cole Rivas, and I'm a gun for hire. Simon Bramhill. He was in the wrong place at the wrong time. What can I say? The blokes are fucking boy scouts. No criminal records. Great exam grades. Got a job working as an electrician. So why? Why you ask? Why am I sat here at the top of his stairs about to call the poor bastard? Well, like I said, he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Let's just say the lad's a bit too nifty with his tools. I'm gonna leave it there for now. He'll be up here in a minute to put me the pills for that peg leg of his.
pick up the bullet casings and search the room for the projectiles. I look for any sign of a ricochet. If I'm not successful, things get messy and I retrieve the bullets from his skull. But looking at the result of the blowback, I'm in luck. Seems like I'll be getting home earlier tonight. These two are as slippy as a bar of prison soap. They're on the move all the time. From what I gather, they don't even stop to pinch a loaf. This made them both very hard to research. This Abernethy cheap worked 24-7 like our lawyer friend Lambert Cooper. But unlike Cooper, she lived at the office. I couldn't do it there. It was too public. I'd be exposed. Same with Ronnie. He worked on the street selling the Class A stuff to the drunky bagheads. And I'm guessing most of the time he would be sat in an alleyway with a needle sticking out of his arm, smacked up his tits. So with this prick boiling his eggs in the back streets and with Sabinefi happily tapping away at her keyboard, I was lost for a solution. That's until I struck gold. This morning I get a phone call that fed me the information I needed most. Ronnie and Sophie are meeting up today at the park for a little chinwag. With Ronnie being a key witness in the Alphys in Clare murder, Sophie Abernethy of the local paper came running. Ronnie gave her a whiff of his arse and she took the baits. It's just a shame they're both on the end of my hook. <laughs> 